hello everyone welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video i am going to show you how we can create donut charts and pie charts to represent our data in the form of graphs so let's get started so you can see here we have created a view with the name of pie view inside our content view and we are going to add basically a simple model to uh, show us our fitness data so it will contain the name of the activity and the calories burned and then an id So as a next step, we are going to move to our pie view and we are going to write a function with the name of name to color, which is going to then map our activity name according to a color, which we are going to basically display a sector inside our pie graph. So this is going to return us a color. So the next step is the addition of variables to my pie view. The first one is basically display donor chart, which will act like a switch to basically display pie chart or donor chart. And the next one is basically our static data, which will contain some of the fitness activity data. Uh, some of the activities included are cycling, walking, swimming and diet and the calories corresponding to each of these activities.
so let's create a canvas we are going to get the context and size and then we are going to basically calculate the total of all of our data which is basically calories and we have done it using the reduce statement after that we have translated our context by uh, 0.5 both in width and height because it is located on the top left corner of our screen after that we have copied our context into another variable pi context and we have rotated it by 90 degrees so that it starts from our uh, left side and then there is a radius which will be minimum of the width and height multiplied by 0.5 then there is a start angle which is set as 0 and then we are going to iterate all of the activities inside the data and calculate our angle which will be 360 degree multiplied by basically the percentage of of the area that would be covered by a single uh, activities calorie so it will be activity dot calorie divided by total multiplied by 360 after that we are going to calculate the end angle that where this sector will end and then we are going to draw a path over it So once we have created the path according to the angle, we are going to then fill the pie uh, context with a certain color that will be returned by our function name to color. And then we are going to basically put this end angle to start angle so that we start the next sector from this angle. And afterwards, we are going to set the aspect ratio to content mode fit to basically improve our UI. Then we are going to create basically a V stack that will contain all of our labels that what each color or sector depicts. So we are going to create an H stack for each of the entry inside this legend. We are going to create first a rectangle of a certain color and then we are going to paste the activity name as text uh, with, within that H stack.
the next step is the creation of another path that is going to clip the pie chart from the center to convert it into a donut graph so what we are going to do is basically we are going to add two of the ellipse one is basically equal to the size of our basically this chart and another one will be slightly shorter than it and once we are going to do the context dot clip with this uh, donut path and we are going to do eo dot fill is equals to true which is going to fill it basically with the white color so that our um, center part of the pie graph is hidden so the graph will look like a donut graph so this is the way we can create a donut graph from a pie graph So now you can see that we are playing the code and when we are going to switch our display donor chart, it is going to convert our pie graph to donor chart. So our code is complete here. Let's just simply add a title on the top of the graph with the field text and setting its font to large title and then multi line text alignment to center. So now our graph is complete with all of the relevant elements like the legend is at the bottom and the title is on the top and in the middle is our graph which when can be then converted to donut graph with the switch at the bottom of the screen. So this is all for the creation of pie chart or donut chart inside Swift UI. If you want to basically learn any other type of graph uh, from this channel, do post in the comment section. Do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.